Hello everyone, welcome to JDK Masterclass. Guys, in today's session, we will discuss about organosilicon reagent, which is a very, a very important uh, protective group or protective reagent. We use it for protection and deprotection. And we will see one major uh, important application, uh, name reaction called peterson oleification reaction. So the topic is very important for MSc chemistry students and you can find many questions in CSI net and gate also. So we'll uh, pursue with the organosilicon and some of the MSc previous year questions. So our very first question is identify the product of the following reaction. We have here a trialkylsilyl iodide reagent along with the acetal and uh, there are uh, two products they are asking the intermediate uh, and in the presence of water again you have to find out what could be the product so you have if you are familiar for organic uh, this uh, organosilicon reagent and its application then you can easily go ahead with the mechanism so we will start solving this so first reaction will occur between the acetal and so this group is acetal where the carbon is having the two ether group and in the presence of trialkylsilyl iodide it forms a carbonyl compound. So basically it is the deprotection reaction. Trialkylsilyl reagent is a very important reagent for the deprotection and protection. So here we are deprotecting the ether group and we are getting its original compound carbonyl compound. So we will see the mechanism of it. First, we know that oxygen being electronegative and uh, silicon being electropositive will uh, form a bond between two it and oxygen will share its electron, the nucleophile, uh, nucleophilic attack on the silicon and followed by the loss of iodide here. So here in this uh, way, it will be forming an intermediate where the oxygen is having a positive charge. Since here in the first step, oxygen uh, has given its electron to silicon, oxygen will get a positive charge. Now we know that oxygen is an electronegative species and having a positive charge on oxygen makes it highly unstable. So therefore, the iodide will attack on the alkyl group or you can say the OR bond will give its electron to stabilize the oxygen and so the iodide which you present in the system will attack on the R to form the alkyl iodide bond. And so you will get uh, the first question mark, the first intermediate uh, in the question, uh, the structure where one, is, one oxygen is uh, having OSI. ME3 means one of the oxygenase has been protected with the trialkylsilyl. The other is still present in the system OR and we know the OSI bond is more polar so it is easy to break compared to OR bond and so now you can see the oxygen lone pair will attack on the silicon uh, and uh, we are breaking ultimately an OSI bond and you can see the formation of carbonyl compound with the loss of trialkylsilyl OR bond. So this uh, is the uh, deep protection of the acetal to carbonyl compound and this is the final product uh, which you are uh, given in the question. Two products are there and this happens in the presence of water so we can say it's a hydrolysis step. Now our next question is uh, discuss the mechanism of Peterson oleification reaction for the stereospecific synthesis of E and Z alkene. So here uh, some uh, important terms like stereospecific synthesis. Uh, you should be familiar of what is the stereospecific, what is the stereoselective reactions. If you are not, I have already prepared a video on it. I will share the link in the description box. Uh, you can uh, watch the video. And similarly, E and Z alkene means cis or trans alkene. You should be familiar of the um, uh, the classification of the alkene E or Z or cis or trans. E for the trans and Z for the cis alkene. So now we'll see first what is Peterson oleification reaction, and it is very very important for MSc and is, and also for competitive exams. So basically, uh, what is Peterson oleification? It is the conversion of beta silyl alcohol to alkene. So the the like if you have present beta silyl alcohol as a reactant in your reaction 
and uh, which uh, could be the peterson oleification reaction and the product is alkene here so we will take the example what is the structure of beta silyl alcohol you can see here you have two carbon here alpha beta on beta you have silyl group having three alkyl group so trimethyl silyl group is present on beta and on the alpha you have oh group so this is the two carbons alpha beta so beta silyl alcohol the reaction can take place either in acid or in base the product will be the same alkene there will be a change in the stereochemistry based on the medium you are conducting your reaction since the reaction is stereospecific so that we will see in the mechanism by taking this example of a um, chiral molecule you can see here the solid and wedge react uh, the bonds here this is uh, the trialkylsilyl uh, beta trialkylsilyl alcohol is present so we can assume this is a peterson oleification reaction and also the sodium hydride is given which is a base so in the presence of base you have to pursue the reaction you should be familiar of a concept here that if you are conducting the reaction in the presence of base there is a syn elimination uh, take place while if you are conducting the reaction in acidic medium anti elimination takes place that concept is very important so you can note it down so first we will see the role of base is abstraction of a acidic proton and so it will abstract the proton from the alcohol and giving it a carbon ion on the oxygen now the leaving group we know uh, trialkylsilyl and oxygen the two are anti here the condition is in the presence of base there should be a syn elimination so what we have to do we have to bring this uh, trialkylsilyl group same position same plane to the oxygen so we will rotate uh, this carbon uh, uh, so that simi3 will come on the same plane so in that way if you are rotating it simi3 will go to the r place r will come to the hydrogen place and hydrogen will go to the uh, trialkyl slide place so you can see this rotation with 60 degree here now in this uh, structure the two are in the same plane the leaving group are in the same plane and so the electronegative and electropositive then between the two the bond will form and it will form a four member ring here the intermediate it looks like a vitic intermediate same way here the stereochemistry whatever is stereochemistry is present in this ring the same is stereochemistry you will get in the product also so here you can notice so we have started with the trans alkene when you are rotating the position of r comes on the same side to the other r means they became cis here so here the ring is showing the syn position cis position to the r after the elimination of trimethylsilyl oxide you will give or get the cis or z alkene here so this is very important the stereochemistry in competitive exam also they will give you different stereochemistry of the product you have to find out the correct stereochemistry so very important again the same reactant uh, but the condition is different acidic medium we know uh, oxygen is having lone pair of electron will uh, uh, give its electron to the h plus getting oh2 plus and uh, now the loss of water uh, and uh, this uh, trialkyl silyl both are the leaving group which are anti to each other anti elimination we know it takes place in the presence of acidic medium so now this uh, oh minus ions uh, will attack uh, from the back side and uh, and so it will help you to release the trialkylsilyl and uh, the loss of water takes place this is actually from where you got the oh minus we are doing the um, uh, in the present hydrolysis in the presence of water so from the water only you are getting this uh, oh minus uh, and uh, it is releasing the water and trimethylsilyl alcohol gives you the trans alkene and note it down here we are not doing any rotation so uh, we have started with trans alkene the same stereochemistry is there in the uh, during the release or elimination so the same stereochemistry we will have in the product here because of the anti elimination Now next question is uh, here give the steps involved in the following conversion this is a conversion reaction 
where reactant product and reagent everything is given you have to just write down the mechanism so uh, for msc students uh, you have to write on the mechanism for competitive exams they may give you different different uh, structures of product you have to write down the find or you have to find out the correct product the reagents will be given to you now we will go step by step uh, so first reaction is between your organic reactant and the first reagent is organolithium on organolithium also i have made a video on it uh, if you are familiar of its uh, application you can um, uh, easily pursue the mechanism here if you have not then you can find the link in the description box and uh, uh, just find its application from there and uh, do the all the application of it it is very important uh, reagent for all the msc and competitive exams organolithium is again act as a strong base and so uh, the role of the base is abstraction of the acidic proton and here you can see that you have a hydrogen which is attached to the sp3 uh, sp carbon sp hybridized carbon so basically it has more s character means it has more stable carbon ion formation and so uh, the carbon ion will be formed here because organolithium acts as a strong base so the r uh, here lithium will get a positive charge r will get a negative charge which will um, abstract this proton and will give generates a carbon ion now the second reagent is given trial carboxyl iodide and we know Uh, this is a nucleophile silicon being electropositive it will attack on the uh, nucleophile will attack on the electropositive species with the loss of i so you will get here organo silicon reagent the next step is showing the reagent uh, e plus which is electrophilic species now you can notice that uh, silicon being uh, having a electropositive species having a positive charge so this terminal carbon which is attached to the silicon will have a partial negative charge here and so it will act as a nucleophile and will attack on the electrophilic species and so uh, it will form a bond with the electrophile uh, leaving behind a positive charge on the other carbon and uh, so we will see here that you have a silicon which is more electropositive than carbon and therefore it will try to give its electron uh, and the nucleophile which is present here will attack on the silicon and uh, in this way the loss of tri alkyl silicon nucleophile will take place and you will get the final product which is given to you and so you can justify the mechanism for the formation of the above product i hope uh, you are getting all these points and uh, you have knowledge of and the role of uh, uh, nucleophile electrophile you should be familiar of before going ahead with any particular mechanism next reaction is complete the following uh, with the reasonable mechanism here the again organo silicon reagent is given along with the uh, ether structure they are having a question mark here you have to design the product So we, uh, we know that organo silicon is used as the pr uh, production of uh, uh, groups uh, especially whenever you have oxygen so it is used to protect the oxygen uh, so you can see here you have ether and you have trial carboxyl chloride oxygen will give its electron to the most uh, uh, electropositive species with the loss of cl and will form a bond here so this type of uh, intermediate we have formed already we know oxygen having a positive charge is highly unstable because it is electronegative species this alkyl bond will try to give its electron and so the cl minus will attack on it with the loss of cl3cl one of the oxygen of ether is protected so the first intermediate is the protected a production step again another molecule of trial carboxylyl the follow the same step and so it will be protected again so both the oxygen are protected now the silicon and this is your final product so basically the organo silicon reagent you have to keep in your mind is used to protect the oxygen group so maybe the oxygen are uh, in the form of uh, ether ester alcohol acids uh, you can use it for the production 
Next question, you can see here, predict the product of the following, where organic silicon uh, is given along with the silver cyanide. One intermediate you have to form again in the presence of aldehyde, you have to find out the final product here. So here, uh, you can see that uh, silver will be electropositive, cyanide is electronegative and will act as a nucleophile. So basically this will be a kind of a substitution reaction here. Uh, we will see that uh, the nucleophile will attack again on the electropositive species with the loss of AgCl forming the organocyanide, uh, uh, this uh, trialkylcyanide cyanide group which you have seen already this is uh, act, act again acting as a nucleophile because silicon will carry a positive charge cyanide carbon will have a negative charge and we know on the next uh, so this is our first question we have designed the structure the second is you have the aldehyde carbonyl so we know the carbonyl carbon is uh, electropositive because oxygen is electronegative so this is uh, electrophilic carbon and you have a nucleophilic center here C minus uh, of cyanide will attack on the electrophilic carbonyl carbon and so you will see here the oxygen is being protected with the trialkylcylide and you are getting this structure here. So this is the production of the carbonyl carbon. Carbonyl oxygen you have seen just now uh, it has been protected. So the last reaction of uh, this uh, organic silicon reagent, uh, we will see complete the following reaction and name the reaction. So you can notice here one uh, trialkylcylyl reagent is given having a lithium also. We have a carbonyl compound in the presence of water you have to design first one structure and then again in the presence of acid or base you have to design the other product. So we have to find out uh, this that uh, you have here carbon which is uh, electro here lithium which is electropositive will get a positive charge and carbon will get a negative charge so this is the organo lithium here and uh, because of that the nucleophilic carbon will attack on the electrophilic carbonyl carbon and so you can see here the oxygen. This is structure you will get which is a starting material of beta hydroxy silane, which is a starting material of Peterson olefiation. So actually the above reaction is Peterson olefiation reaction. You can notice here we have designed the beta hydroxy silane with the help of lithiated organosilicon reagent which will generate a carbon ion on the carbon. Right and the other condition is you should have a carbonyl compound which you need to protect and later you can conduct the reaction in acid or base which will give you the correct stoichiometry. We know Peterson olefiation will give you alkene as a product. So alkene will be the final product. So one again important thing uh, if in the question paper beta hydroxy silane is given you can easily identify the Peterson olefiation. But in some cases they may give you the starting material also which design the beta hydroxy silane. So you should know what are the starting material for the beta hydroxy silane. So you, you have here lithiated organosilicon and the carbonyl compound which gives you beta hydroxy silane. And next is in the presence of acid or base, you can find the product which is the alkene with the loss of the SiMH3OH. So I hope uh, you understood all these reactions. I have already recorded this video in Hindi, but on demand I am making it again and recording it in English. So I hope you have cleared all your doubts. All the best for your studies.